So we're, we're moving on to the first of three title fights. Okay, sorry. Um, Amanda Nunez won via unanimous decision over Jermaine Deridami. Uh She stuck to a very wrestle-heavy game plan, which I thought was her smartest avenue. Uh, mm-hmm. I thought I see a lot of people that weren't very happy about it. It was her safest way of winning so i don't know why she wouldn't have yeah, done we it call, we called it we yeah said we, it. We, we we called it and but we said we said we had a feeling and some of those were there there was um gdr had a couple spots where she was i mean oh, it yeah. wasn't like oh one more second she would have finished that submission or oh one more glancing blow and that would have been it but she got some solid shots in and did some good stuff on the ground I mean, like I said, I didn't think her takedown defense was going to be enough to completely stop the ground. That's why I was hoping that uh, Noons would have decided to play a little bit more on the feet, thinking that she'd be a little bit overconfident with how she beat Cyborg, but yeah, I mean, she G- played a smart game plan. GDR was super impressive, man. I mean, I don't think I've ever, ever been so impressed with her. I think it was the submission uh, attempts that she had locked in. Uh, I, the fact that she is uh, adapting and uh, get, you know making her game more diverse from a striker. But I just, I was just, I came off that fight not more imp- as much impressed with Nunez. I was more impressed with GDR and the fact that she still is coming and has a high ceiling. No, I completely agree. I think a lot of people wrote her off. You could tell by, I was actually really close. I, I did say on the podcast, if she breaks plus 300, I might have to bet her even for like a half a unit. And like day of, uh, it got to just plus 305. And I, I had debated it, but uh, as Mike knows and a few other people know, I was a little bit under the weather. So I'm not even sure if I could have physically typed in what I needed to at that point before I went MIA for like three days. But uh, no, she honestly, she looked great. Um I'm not gonna say Amanda Nunes looked bad. She she still looked good. Um, she didn't look ferocious. Is more what I, what I mean. And all champions hit this level at some point. She just might be hitting it now, where now she just want to keep wants to keep the wins coming. So she becomes a little bit more conservative. It's similar to what John Jones is doing. It's like they know they can beat these people, and they're gonna beat them at the easy way to win. Like the most defensive, less chance of taking a shot even if it's not necessarily the most aesthetically pleasing and yeah, it's smart it's the it's, gsp it's smart. way yeah it's my it's, this might be the new version of a man noons we're going to deal with until she has a new fight that's going to excite going to excite her and the only way that's going to happen if i don't know someone like aspen lad goes on a finishing spree for the next like two years so we'll see that uh if or when it comes 